Shalom Israel. We're here in Columbia, South Carolina doing another edition of Cuts from the Street. Today I have with me who? Fama. Tia. Tiana. Tiana and her mother. Tawana. Alright, so Fama, we're out here uh, trying to find, get a little bit of information about Mother's Day. So, uh, I see that you are a mother. How many children do you have? I have three. Three? How many boys and how many girls? Two girls and one boy. Two girls and one boy. Mm -hmm. hey, you say, what's up? Good. This is my youngest son. This is my baby, Israel. Tell, tell the Israel. <laughs> Israel. His name is Israel. Say, Israel. Say, Shalom, Israel. His middle name is Shalom. So, we have Israel, the son of Farmer, here with us. So, what is Mother's Day to you? Mother's Day is a day that the world um, celebrates mothers for their, um, I guess, accomplishment. They show appreciation and show all their love and they just choose this one day to shower mothers with all the love and affection that they can. Okay. Um, it's just a day celebrating mothers and how hard we work and just a fun day. Okay, a fun <laughs> day that, you know, that's designated for mothers, right? We celebrate by exchanging gifts. We usually take her out to eat. Well, actually, she sends us a list of the things that she wants. Oh, so she makes requests. And then, collectively, her five kids, we get it together for her. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Five kids, okay. Five kids. Oh, praise. So All right. Mother's Day is big around our house. Okay, so y'all... being out here. And we got a great grandma with us, too. Okay, and got great grandma with you yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, praise, oh, praise. All right, so what about you, Mom? Uh, Miss Tawana, right? Mm -hmm. All right. How did you celebrate Mother's Day with your mother? Um, pretty much the same. Uh, just show our appreciation towards her. And we try to do it all year round, but, you know, I guess this one day we try to extra, you know, give a little extra oomph. Um, uh, Can you say that last statement again? Oh, about doing it year round? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Today we're celebrating your mother for all the wonderful things she's done for you, giving birth to you, things like that. But you're supposed to celebrate every day, do things for her all the time. Okay, so earlier we were giving you kind of an uh, understanding of what we are about, right? Mm -hmm. So we say we, we tend to ask questions that come from the Bible. Mm -hmm. What does the Bible say about uh, celebrating mothers? What does the Bible say about that? Um, I know the Bible, t in Titus chapter 2, I know the Bible talks about um, um, the older women training up the younger women. So when I think of mothers, I think of the older um, women. Whether you have children or not, if you're an older woman, you are deemed a mother, and it is your job, your duty, your obligation um, to 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 help cultivate and train the younger ladies to become mothers when they get older, and also to be good wives. And there's just a list of things that go on with that. Right, right, right. I want to ask you: Do you know of any uh, place in the Bible where it says to uh, celebrate the mothers? Well, yeah, um, the Ten Commandments. Okay, so the Ten Commandments says, Honor thy mother, mother and thy father, mother. right? Yeah. So, uh, does the Bible give a specific day that we do that? No. No. So, why do you think in society we celebrate it on the second uh, Sunday of May? I don't know. That's a good question. We understand that Mother's Day is a custom given to us in this captivity by our enemies. You understand? Because prior to uh, 19, what, 1908, there was no Mother's Day. Did you know that? No, not at all. Like I say it's something they don't teach you in school, so most people wouldn't know that. Right, so Mother's Day was actually started by a lady named Anna Marie Jarvis, all right, 1908. Huh? She sell cards. Well, it started out as a, a tr event that she was doing once a year to honor her own mother, and it turned into something that everybody started doing it. It was implemented in the churches and then it became known as a national holiday when uh, the president made it a national holiday back in what? 19... 1914. Yeah. Uh, Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson made it a national holiday in uh, 1914. So did you know that? 
No, but I can see that. You can see that. All right. So what if, what's in celebrating Mother's Day, what if by celebrating Mother's Day you were celebrating a pagan goddess? <laughs> would it be too far fetched? So, do you know the history of Mother's Day, where it comes from? We don't. No, we really don't. No. Okay. You don't know? No. Okay. All right. Now, that you had, there was a woman named Anna Marie Jarvis who had started Mother's Day doing it the second Sunday in May. All right. Doing the second Sunday in May. All right. Did y'all know that? No. no. Never heard of it. Never no heard of it, right? Okay. And she was upset because it turned very commercial. All right. And people were buying cards instead of doing things sentimental for their mothers. All right. Did you know that? No. I didn't know that. Okay. All right. And it even dates back further than her. Okay. That the Catholic Church was doing Mothering Sunday. Uh, Do you ever hear about that? No. Never heard of I'm not Catholic. We're not Catholic. <laughs> okay. All right, good. All praise. So, and that it goes even further than that, that your ancient Greeks, the ancient Greeks used to celebrate the goddess Rhea, all right, what they call uh, her the mother of gods, okay? Even older names than that, the queen of heaven, uh, uh, Astarte, Astrith, um, and even uh, Samarimus, the mother of uh, Tammuz, the wife of Nimrod, which is actually uh, um, uh, which is actually one of those Babylonian goddesses. All right. Did 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 you ever know that? Queen of everything. So. So you say you're the queen of everything. Everything. I have a shirt and everything. All right. You have the shirt and everything. Does she have that, Tiana? She does. As you see, her hat says extra. Uh, extra. All right. So she stay. Everything is extra. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Do you know anything about the origin of Mother's Day? I do not. And like I said earlier, that indirect and direct teaching mm -hmm. is sometimes what happens when we participate in things. Mm -hmm. So uh, with the origin of Mother's Day, did you actually know that we're breaking one of the commandments when we... Uh, celebrate Mother's Day? I'm sure we are because we're breaking commandments when we celebrate Easter, when we celebrate Christmas, and when we celebrate all those other um, all those other uh, special holidays that society has deemed important. And I'm glad you said it that way because you said society mm -hmm. deems society. it important. Mm -hmm. So, do you think God or society is more important? God is definitely more important. That's not a uh, a debate. I'm not you know, yeah, it's not a debate. You were talking about the Ten Commandments. When we worship another God, what commandment are we breaking out of the ten? Do you know? I don't know the number, but I know we're breaking it. Right. So it, it, we're actually breaking the, the commandment of putting another the God God before. God. Right. Right. So that's why we had to ask that question, because sometimes we're participating in things that we really don't know. You understand? But do you i'm gonna ask you this next question because i know we're in the heat and i know you're expecting it all right so do you think christ celebrated mother's day because we just said 250 bc it w they were celebrating Rhea, Rhea before he was born yeah. so he encountered the situation of are you going to celebrate your mother what do you think christ did i don't think he celebrated mother's day if that's the meaning about um Rhea. Okay. Uh, yeah, he didn't. You want you? We like to prove things. You you want some proof on that? Officer, you mind coming? Uh, you got that Luke eleven. So this is Luke chapter eleven. Okay. Luke chapter eleven and verse twenty seven. And it came to pass as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Bless is the womb that bare thee. And the paps which thou hast sucked. So this woman, Christ was out there teaching the people. And this woman rose up and said, Christ, blessed is the womb that bear thee. Blessed are the breasts that you suck to get nourishment as you were a child. Yeah. But let's see what Christ's response. Because they were basically saying, worship your mother. Celebrate your mother. Because she's the one who bear you. Watch what he said. Verse 28. But he said... Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. <coughs> so Christ even said, no, I'm not going to worship my mother. I'm not going to celebrate my mother. I'm going to celebrate Great. what I was given, the word of God. You believe in, you believe in the Bible? Uh, it's, 
I believe in certain concepts and things, but I still I believe it's man made. It was still believe you believe the Bible is man made. So you believe everything. A lot of a, a lot of things you believe is man made. Yes. All right. So we can actually prove that the Bible is a real book because the Bible has our history in it. And as far as Mother Day goes, Mother Day is not a new custom. Our people have always been celebrating Mother's Day at some point in, in our history. This is the reason why, one of the reasons why we're in the condition that we're in now. But not knowing that and continually perpetuating it is where, we, where, where we're giving ourselves, doing ourselves a disservice at. Because we don't know. Yeah, we're continuing the cycle. That's why nowadays people just like, oh, that's Bible is fake, man-made, this is man-made, just like Mother's Day, you said it's man-made. So let's read this. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Bible says, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Mother's Day is a philosophy. Would you agree? Yes. What about Christmas? Is that a philosophy? Uh, Christmas is a little different. Uh, cause Why? But it's wrapped around the, the birth of Jesus, the birth of the Savior, the three wise men, things like that. But it's Christmas is one of those difficult things you can't really talk about. Cause but why? Because you believe in Christ? I mean, yes or no? It's yes or, it's yes or no. Kinda. I have, I have a lot of questions. If that much. And that's good. You should have. You should have a lot of questions. So. The philosophy, read that again. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. All right, through philosophy and vain deceit, read on. After the tradition of men. After the traditions of men. So Mother's Day is a tradition of man because it was started by Anna Marie Jarvis. She started celebrating her own mother for the good things that they did and you know just remembrance of her of her mother. She started doing it the second Sunday in May. All right? And then over time it became like I said known as something national. Are y'all Christians? Yeah, you're not Christians? Okay, okay. Now, do you believe in the Bible at all? No. Me no. What about you? I believe certain parts are maybe true, but not the whole thing, no. Okay. So you believe certain parts are true, but not really necessarily the whole thing, all right? And notice that you do have an unk on, all right? Mm -hmm. Which is actually a symbol of a cross, all right? So a lot of those things go back to those deities, all right? Like I was talking about earlier, Samaritans, okay? Um, or Isis, like in the, uh, you have more of a Afrocentric religion, they go into more of like Isis, Horus, and Seth. Uh, is that more along the lines that you believe in? For me, yeah. yeah. For you, yeah? What about you? Mm. No, he's, he's like, man, I really don't know what that is. Okay. Okay, well, it is the same deity, but she has different names, goes by different names, okay? In the Bible, if you don't mind us reading a verse, can we read a verse of scripture to you? That we actually, we're, we're told not to worship those things, okay? It is good for you to honor your mother all, uh, mother and father all the time, but you don't have to condense it to one day, all right? That, that was actually instituted uh, as a federal law in America by Woodrow Wilson, all right, in 1914. Did y'all know that? To honor the mother on this day? Yes, that it was instituted by Woodrow Wilson. Okay. Y'all didn't, didn't know that? No. You teach, you, you, you yeah, you're schooling us on Sunday, for okay. sure. Okay, excellent. Hey, oh, praise. Right, right. Hey, I, I, we don't go to church on Sunday either. Okay. okay. We on Saturday? Yes, we observe the Sabbath day, right. Because those are the things that's commanded in the Bible, all right? It is hot out here. It is very hot. All right. So, with us doing those things, do you mind that the scripture coming out? I know you're like, you really don't believe in the Bible. You really don't follow those things. But... You know, with that, in honoring your mother every day, Miss uh, Tawana, right? Tawana, where did you get that from? Was that something that was just innate or you always done or what? I think it was just it's from seeing, I guess, my mother being honored by my, my stepfather. I mean, 
that's who took care of me. I mean, it just it came naturally. <laughs> so it came now. What about you, Tia? Yeah, it comes naturally. Yeah. It was more natural? Okay, okay. Because as we uh, come around to do interviews, we like to find out what's on the mind of the people, how they actually look at these uh, celebrations and festivals, holidays that we celebrate. We invest our money into it. We teach these things to our, our children indirectly and directly. And we just want to give a solution to our people, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what the Bible gives us as a solution, okay? Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Mm -hmm. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So the Bible is telling us, beware. So it, it, it's saying that there's some danger mm -hmm. impending behind certain things that we're going to learn through society. You understand? But it says, beware of these teachings of philosophies and vain deceits, which means lies. So the worshiping of our mother is a lie. Not, the Bible does say honor our mother. But certain times with these holidays, we tend to worship her. Yeah. And we choose one day to worship her which is against God. We're putting our mother before God. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that's why the scripture actually said, after the traditions of men and not after Christ. Mm -hmm. So that's why we had to show you what Christ actually did, how he dealt with uh, the impending thought of or a society trying to push on him Mother's Day. All right? So, Lord, we, I, I can tell that you're a sister that knows the scriptures and has been studying. Make sure that you teach these things to your children so that they don't uh, have to deal with the danger of, of being, you know, shunned away when God comes back or Christ comes back. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is cut from the street. IUIC Columbia, uh, you said Farmer. Farmer has been a great uh, um, interviewee. We really appreciate you, Farmer, no and hopefully we get to see you later. All right. All right. With Thank that, we you. say shalom. Like we said earlier, we're actually breaking that commandment in the in the ten that was given to Moses. We'll that Moses. Celebrate Mother's Day. Say that again now. We're breaking the commandments when we celebrate Mother's Day. Yes, we are. We are. Now that you know that, because how many children do you have? Three. Three. Do you know that we're actually teaching them to celebrate Mother's Day and to worship the mother on this day? Yeah. So what are we actually teaching them? We're teaching them um, the worship of somebody else besides God. Right. Is that good or bad? That's bad. Right. So now, and you see, we have to learn these things at, with the Bible as a reference because at the end of the day, we do want to please God, right? Yes. We do. At least I do. Right. We, we say that we love God, right? Yes. Yeah. But keeping his commandments is what we have to do to show him that we love him. So, do uh, you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? A girl. Okay, all praises, all praises. So now that you know, and she heard it too, you know, she, she hearing this too. But now that you guys know this, do you think that you will continue to celebrate Mother's Day? I, I'm i not going to say that I'll stop celebrating it, but I will get the message out there that, you know, well, y'all, this is really what's going on. Because it done became a tradition now, you feel right, me? Right, right. So it's like, um, it's like you can't just cut off your tradition, but I will spread the word. Right. We're going to give you this last scripture because I don't want you and little mama to be in the heat too long or even a uh, turtle to be in the heat too long. Let, this is what the Bible says about these vain traditions, okay? Read that. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So, it says beware. So, this is, it, 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 there's an impending danger behind following certain teachings and these lies that society teaches us yeah. okay because we didn't know that we were actually celebrating a goddess worshiping a goddess did you know about Rhea before today no yeah because you, we didn't know but that's actually what we're doing when we celebrate mother's day so like you said you now that you know you want to go spread the word and that's what our job is to do we come out to our people ask them what they know why are they doing certain things and then we inform them based on the proof you understand so yeah, I'm, I really appreciate it. Your name is Katia, right? Yes. So, Katia, 
Tanisha, I want you to point at the camera and say, this is Cuts from the Street. One, two, three, this is Cuts, Cuts from, from the, the Street. street. <laughs> Mother's Day was started by, like we said, by Anna Marie Jarvis, all right? Yeah, celebrating her mother. Now we come all the way down to 2018, we're still celebrating Mother's Day. We don't know where it comes from. We have no idea who started it and when it came into play. Let's find out what God says how we should serve our mothers and fathers. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. You see something wrong with that? No. Wow. Because naturally, you know, you have to respect your, uh, your, mo your mother and father, right? Yeah. Read again. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Mm -hmm. So, this is the way in which God is telling us to honor our mother and father. But how? They must be keeping the commandments. Because if your mother is not keeping the commandments, and that's one thing we that you probably haven't heard, heard of either, the keeping of God's commandments. That's one reason why we fell so far from thinking that this Bible is a fake book and, be, and believing that this Bible, is, it doesn't pertain to us or we don't have any relevance to it because we haven't been taught the laws of this Bible. But the law was honor thy mother and thy father. Why? You got that? Read. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. In what? In the Lord. So your parents must be in the Lord. As you obey your parents in the Lord. Now whether they're in the Lord or not, you still have to respect them. You still have to give them a level of respect. But that level of respect goes into whether you're going to break the commandments for them or not. You understand? Whether uh, you know... When you understand it's the Sabbath day and you're not supposed to work, cook, or clean, and they want to force you to work, cook, or clean, that's not. Now you're dishonoring the Most High God for your for your parents. Read it again. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, uh -huh. for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. All right. So that's how we're supposed to honor our mother and our father. But now in celebrating Mother's Day. We don't take into account that this is actually a custom that is not ours. You know, that it's been something that has been made, that's been made and passed down to us generation after generation after generation. And we don't know that it, it goes against our direct inheritance that God gave us. So what I'll do is I'll give you a flyer, all right? And it goes over the information as far as the history of Mother's Day. So you can actually know what it's about, all right? And knowing that you have a lot of the religions around the world, they follow under three gods, which were people that actually were here on the face of this planet first. And those people were recorded in the Bible, all right? Nimrod was recorded in Genesis, okay? That, uh, uh, let me, let's, let's get that as far as Nimrod. So you had the deity. You had Nimrod, Samarimus, and Tammuz, all right? Uh, Nimrod being the father god, all right? And you had Samarimus who was the mother, a queen mother, all right? And Tammuz was the one who was supposed to be immaculately, uh, immaculately conceived. And that's why a lot of the different doctrines, they come with that deity in formation, like you have with Zeus, all right, with the Greeks, or uh, you have with those that follow Egyptology with Horus, all right, being conceived from uh, or Osiris, all right, and Isis. You're familiar with that as well? Okay, all right. Different. You're talking about a different ISIS. A different ISIS? <laughs> we mentioned ISIS. I'm like, wait a minute, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let me, uh, oh, no. Oh, okay. I say, you're, you're talking about the Muslim state, yeah. the ISIS. Okay, okay. Well, that's just an acronym. That's just an acronym <laughs> on what they call them. But we're talking about deities. All right. All right. So, I'll give you the literature. Okay. All right. We thank you for listening to us, for actually doing an interview with us. All right. Now, if you would, you could just point at the camera and say, this is Cuts from the Street, Columbia, all right? On three, okay? okay. One, two, three. This, this is Cuts, Cuts from, from the Street, Street Columbia. Columbia. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.